okay i got the message that deployment is complete and go to resource i hope it's not a dummy message and it's really yeah available so let's see let's go to resource and yes one session host as expected one application group one app resource group location subscription id tag pooled perfect this was the size os standard ssd that was was all about see i'm in the host pool properties which is it sense test and rdp properties just have a look at it mm -hmm. and resource id subscription id looks fine under the application groups of course it's the default desktop application group that is there and this is the session host with the prefix it sense as you can see it's in the same location i have provisioned and it's in the same resource group and if we click on this session host we can see currently there are no users connected to it all right so looks good and these are the deployment details and I think pretty much it that's it and analytic logs properties yep overall it looks very good and now the only thing we need to do is to test and we will test connecting to it to connect to a session host and see how we'll be able to access it right uh what is available well what is available it's gonna be desktop with some default windows app plus microsoft 365 apps because i choose the image which includes windows 10 plus microsoft 365 apps so typically it will be a windows desktop right at the end it depends apart from this what else application you configured for your users maybe your environment have some databases so you, you would like to include or add database clients into that image or some other customized you know in-house application or some business related application which requires a client install or some specific DLLs to be registered or whatever, you need to prepare the image accordingly, right? So that when the user log in, they have all the business applications available, which require for them to work. So from provisioning perspective, it's all looks good. The only thing is that we will test and to test of course there are two ways once to use the web client and another one is to get the windows desktop client for wed it's not the same client as typical remote desktop client that comes with windows 10 so you go to this url right and you can download the client and as you can see, uh, it's, it's giving you instructions and all. I have already downloaded the client. So in next video, or let's see if I can go next. Accept the agreement. Stall for all user in this machine. I don't mind. So it's installing this remote desktop client that I'll be using this client to connect to my WED environment or 
there is another way as I mentioned which is the web based client you know so in next video I will show you how to connect to your Windows virtual desktop okay let me proceed with this installation and I will join you shortly oh it's done already so as I said, get the client or also if you go Google or your browser search engine and say WVD URL, you should be able to see even the web based URL as well. Right? If you are connecting it remotely by a web client, for example, then these are the supported browsers and this is these are the URLs. Of course, there are some specific URLs for US government and etc. So you will be using the other one instead, right? So as I said, uh, in next video, I will show you how to connect. So take it easy.